What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I've got an insane pro-am video for you guys. In this game, I was running with some IRLs and there were only four of us so we did have a lockdown as a random. To start things off, I passed to the lockdown in the paint. He ends up taking a 180 dunk, I have no idea why, but anyway, the other team is gonna score on the fast break and they get an easy 2-0 lead. So once again, on offense, the lockdown's gonna get a nice cut, get an easy dunk and tie the game up at two. And towards the beginning of the game, the other team was running and gunning right here they're gonna get a layup kind of contested they do end up missing Jaden got a pretty good contest on that but I thought it would still go in because he's a stretch right here Julian's gonna get a weird animation but the lockdown is gonna get the board put up a two and just like that we're gonna take the lead so we're up four to two and luckily right here the other team is gonna get a turnover they throw the ball right at Julian and if you guys don't know Julian is number 46 on the team Jaden is number 11 on the team so when I am referring to them that's what numbers they are and then this lockdown is number 23 so he's just a random but anyway right here I'm gonna get an easy post hop shot I could have shot in the paint but I decided to take a post hop shot because my defender was behind me so he wouldn't be able to contest right here we have a 14 to 8 lead we're feeling pretty good about this game especially because we do have a random normally when I am running with a random in pro-am even if I have a full squad of four with just one random the random can kind of lose us the game a lot of times, so I was kind of scared of that happening. But right here, we did have a lead. I was feeling pretty good. And this lockdown did have pretty good cuts throughout the game. I got a lot of my assists to him. As you can see, we're starting the second quarter off. The lockdown's going to get a steal. I'm going to get the ball. I'm going to give it right back to him. He's going to get a nice transition dunk. And right here, for some reason, the inbounder decided to chuck the ball down the court. Jaden did end up getting the steal. He passes to me, and I'm going to get a nice posterizer in transition. And just like that, we're up 25 to 13. So we do have double their score. This stretch big is going to almost airball the shot. He only hits backboard. And after that, he did end up quitting. So I was guarding an AI pretty much the whole game. And like I said, I was getting a lot of my assists, especially early on to this lockdown. He was pretty good at going to the basket, getting easy cuts. And from that assist to him, I did end up getting takeover. So my team did give me the ball on offense. Right here, I just drove past two defenders, got an easy dunk. I don't know why they weren't in the paint trying to defend me, but I'll definitely take some easy points. Right here, Randy's going to turn the ball over. This guy's going to get on the fast break. I thought I would get the block there, but unfortunately, I didn't. Right here, this guy decides to take a pull up in two people's faces. I have no idea what he was thinking. I'm going to get the rebound, but I do end up getting a turnover. So they get another fast break. Number 11 is out on the break. I do end up blocking him. So Jaden's going to get the rebound, give it to the lockdown. The lockdown's going to pass to me. The paint looks pretty open, and I thought they were going to double team, so I decided to fake, and then I pass to Julian for an easy layup. To close out the first half, there were 10 seconds left and this lock decided to take a really bad layup. Don't know what he was thinking, we still had time on the clock and Jaden was open on the wing. Right here, they have 2 seconds left, this stretch big AI pulls up for a shot and he does end up breaking it. So at halftime, I got player of the half and we were up by 9 and we were still feeling pretty good about this game. To start the second half, the lockdown's gonna leave this shot creator wide open, but luckily he does miss the shot and on the fast break, I'm gonna give it to Randy for an easy dunk. Back on offense, this lockdown ended up almost getting a turnover, but luckily Jaden recovers the ball, gives it to Randy and I'm gonna get an easy cut to the back basket and an easy layup and the thing about this lockdown defender is that in the first half he actually played pretty well but in the second half not so much right here you can see that I have the ball I'm gonna pass it to him he's gonna end up taking the shot after he gets triple teamed in the paint no idea what he was doing and also on defense he left his man open so many times in the second half as you can see we have a nine point lead right now but it's not going to be that way for the whole game. So back on defense right here, he leaves his guy open. Luckily, he does miss, but then he doesn't even crash for the board. He doesn't box his guy out. So he's going to let the guy who shot the ball get his own rebound and score a layup. And little things like that is what can cost us the game. As you can see, we have a seven-point lead, so we're still feeling pretty good. Randy does leave his guy open. He's going to hit a three. So now we're only up by four. They do end up scoring again. So at this point, we're up by two. Randy does hit a two to make it a two possession game once again and they do end up scoring. So to end off the third quarter, Julian's gonna get a nice cut, he's gonna get an easy layup. And back on defense, they have five seconds to score. Randy's gonna go for the steal right here so his guy does end up being wide open in the corner. Luckily he does miss and we're gonna be going into the fourth quarter with a four point lead. And although a four point lead is good, we were going into halftime with a nine point lead. So right here, they're gonna end up scoring a two. We have a two point lead and we were kind of scared at this point. We could not make small mistakes. We could not turn the ball over. Right here, the lockdown leaves his man wide open. Like I said, the lockdown's defense in the second half was horrible. Right here, he's gonna get a nice cut. He does take a horrible shot with two people in the paint. He could have passed out to Julian, who was wide open for the mid-range. 
Don't know why he didn't. Right here, this playmaker is going to take a three. Luckily, he does miss because they would have taken the lead with that shot. Right here, I give it to Julian. I should have given it to Randy because there were about three people on Julian. So he ended up turning the ball over. This playmaker is going to pass to the Lockdowns man who's wide open. Don't know what the Lockdown was doing. And they end up taking the lead. So back on offense. There's one and a half minutes left. This Lockdown ends up taking a layup. Good thing the shot went in because there were two people on him. But nobody put their hands up so there was no contest. So back on defense once again. The Lockdown leaves this guy wide open. Don't know what he's doing. He didn't even get back on defense. So we're down by two. We need to get a two to tie or a three to take the lead right here. Jaden has the ball with two seconds left. He gives it to Randy. Top of the key. He's going to miss the shot. Luckily, I get the rebound. Hit Jaden for three. And he misses. But I do get the rebound again. Right here, I give the ball to Julian, who's going to give the ball to Jaden on the three-point line. We have seven seconds left. Jaden's going to drive in. Can't get any good looks. He's going to give it to Julian, who's going to give it to Randy. Back to Jaden for a mid-range shot. And he does end up missing. I do get the rebound once again. Randy's going to shoot a three. He misses. The lockdown gets the rebound. He's going to pump fake. Give it to me. I try to create something in the post, but the lockdown just runs in. So I don't want to get double teamed. I give it to Randy. He's going to size up his defender. Fake a three. Give it to the lockdown, who's going to have to force up a layup. Two seconds left. He misses. I get the rebound, and I decide to put it up. And that possession was crazy because we missed so many times. I think I got three rebounds from that, and I tied the game. So right here, we got 19 seconds left. Left. they're gonna hold the ball until the last possession it looks like this point guard is trying to get an open look can't seem to get it this lockdown plays horrible defense but luckily Jaden does get the block so back on offense we have seven seconds this lockdown gives it to Julian who gives it to Randy Randy's gonna fake pass and the lockdown calls a timeout so we have three seconds left the lockdown's gonna give it to Jaden Jaden's gonna have to pull a deep contested three and he misses so we're going into overtime to start overtime i did lose the jump ball right here the lockdown did leave his man open luckily he does get back in time and when the lockdown actually did play good defense we could get stops because his guy was just torching him in the second half right here this guy's gonna pull up for mid range he does miss the shot so once again as long as the lockdown plays defense we're pretty good right here i almost get a turnover they're gonna end up fouling randy Right here, I have the ball again on offense. I pass to the lockdown. He gets a nice cut. And right there, you can see in the top right, I do have a triple-double at this point. Right here, they have two seconds left on the shot clock. The lockdown leaves his guy open. I don't know how he leaves him open. He's a sharpshooting shot creator, which is a pretty good offensive build. But if you're a lockdown defender, you should be able to guard any build. I don't know why he just left him wide open. Right here, I'm going to body this AI in the post. I take a pretty bad shot, but it does end up going in because it is an AI. I want you guys to watch the left corner right here. The lockdown is just guarding the inbound and his man is wide open in the left corner luckily Randy does end up getting the steal for us he's running the fast break with Julian Randy's gonna try to take a dunk it puts him into a layup and luckily he finishes so we have a four point lead right here the lockdown is actually playing pretty good defense for once but Jaden ends up jumping and getting the foul so the power forward on their team is gonna end up making the first free throw as well as the second so once again we do have a two point lead Back on offense, they're going to give me the ball. I see Julian's open. He is cold, so he does end up missing the shot. And they end up calling a timeout. Right here, this guy's going to drive in, pump fake, give it to the stretch. This stretch AI makes a heavily contested shot on me. Don't know how that went in, but we're tied at 56. Julian's going to get an easy layup to take the lead. 43 seconds left. We just have to play defense. That's all we need to do. We need to get a stop right here, but the lockdown leaves his guy wide open. I don't understand why he's just pressing the inbound every time when his guy's not even the one passing in. It makes no sense to me. Right here, Randy's going to pull up for a three. And he hits the shot. So there are 30 seconds left. All we have to do is stop them from scoring a three. So this guy's going to drive in. And once again, the lockdown lets this guy score. So we're up by one. We have 21 seconds left. And we decided to hold the ball unless we do get a good opportunity to score. So right here, Randy's going to give it to me. Julian has a nice wide open cut. And we're up by three. So once again, all we need to do is stop the other team from scoring a three. So right here, the lockdowns guy is going to give it to the stretch. Run back to the three-point line. And he's left wide open by the lockdown. So he does end up hitting the shot. And we have five seconds left. So the team's going to give me the ball. I'm going to post up on this AI. Take a post hop shot. And I do end up missing the shot. So we're going into double overtime right here. To start double overtime, Randy and I run a pick and roll. I get a bad catch animation. I do end up missing the first shot. But I get my own rebound put it back up. So we have a two-point lead. Two minutes left. Lockdown leaves this guy wide open. 
once again that's pretty much the only way they've been scoring so we're down by one right here i'm gonna give it to randy he's gonna give it back to me and look at that animation the ball just goes right over my head i don't know why my guy didn't catch the ball but anyway right here we need to stop this guy's open in the corner luckily he misses but Jaden does not box out so they get the rebound once again the lockdowns guy's open for mid-range he doesn't shoot it but this stretch ai makes a lightly contested shot on me so we're down by three and this lockdown decides to not give it to randy he's gonna give it to julian because him and randy were actually arguing on the mic at this point Jaden's gonna give it to me i'm gonna get a turnover so they're up by three we need a stop right here the lockdown's actually playing defense on his guy for once and this guard decides to call a pick from the stretch i don't know why he's calling a screen from an ai he does end up getting fouled here on a horrible shot he hits the first free throw and he ends up hitting the second one as well so we're down by five all we need to do is score a quick two or a three and get a stop but right here as you can see we have four seconds left julian's gonna be forced to take a horrible shot right here and this lockdown ends up getting an over the back foul so they're gonna get more free throws this shot creator is gonna end up sinking the first free throw as well as the second and at this point Jaden just chucked up a three because we needed a quick three I got the board I just put it right back up because I figured if we do get a stop we still have a chance so right here we're down by five but they do end up scoring right here and that's pretty much gonna be the game there are 10 seconds left Jaden shoots the three he misses they end up getting the rebound and that's gonna be game over this game was insane I finished with a stat line of 16 points 17 rebounds 11 assists with two blocks I feel like I had a good stat line but honestly it doesn't really matter if we lose the game and that was a pretty good game because it did go into double overtime I don't know what that animation was at the end I've never seen that animation where the ball just goes right over my head I guess the defender put me in some contact animation where I couldn't catch the ball something like that that's my guess to why that happened but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to see more Pro-Am videos, make sure to comment down below. Most of my content is Park, but I want to start doing some more Pro-Am videos because most of the games are close and they're pretty fun to record and edit. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's been King Josh and I'm out. Peace.